<clears throat> Hello, welcome to the first episode of The Bibliophiles, where I encourage reading by obviously recommending good reading material. Today I'm going to take a look at The Last Days of Krypton by Kevin J. Anderson. The setting, well, it's kind of obvious. It's on Superman or aka Kal-El's home planet of Krypton. You know, shortly before everything goes kablooey. And, um, I really enjoyed this because, well, for one thing, um, we, we don't often see that much on the show or comics or TV show is Krypton. And there's a lot of it. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of it. You know, with its uh, many locations, is what I'm trying to say. It gives the planet a sense of real bigness. You know, there's uh, all sort. There's many cities here. There's, uh, you know, the city of Candor, Argo, uh, Argo, Argo City, of Argo. Um, uh, there's a uh, Kryptonopolis, and of, and of course, there's the, um, the uh, store story, which is uh, about starts out a couple of years, I guess, before the before Kal El is sent off to Earth, and um, you know, there's a lot of uh, events that occur that are talked about occasionally on the shows and movies, such as the shrinking of Kandor, um, Jor-El discovering the Phantom Zone, and, um, you know, the rise and fall of Zod, etc., etc. But what I really liked is, um, you know, at the explanations, um, you know, they're, they're, they always uh, explain a lot. Like, um, why is that um, an advanced civilization such as the people of Krypton don't have spaceships which they can just use to leave the planet and go someplace else? Or, um, uh, that's pretty much the only one I can think of. Um, anyway, anyway um, <clears throat> or, or other also is uh, how does Krypton actually, you know, go you know, go go out, go explode or whatever, because the, the only ex the only thing we can see is, you know, just the planet Krypton blowing up. We just, uh, like, in uh, Wrath of Khan, we're, we're just supposed to accept, oh, this planet just exploded. Why? It just did. You know, anyway, anyway. but they, they, they give an explanation, like, how Krypton is destroyed and you're not going to see it coming. There's going to be a lot of uh, red herrings like, you know, geological instability or a comet or whatever. But, um, yeah, the way it actually it's destroyed is, um, yeah, you're not going to see it coming. And, like, oh, lastly, is, um, even though you know Krypton is going to be destroyed at the end, you find yourself not wanting it to happen or... Also, you wind up thinking, like, maybe it won't happen, and just hoping that it won't. You know, but, yeah, it's like, um, even though you know what the, how it's going to end, it still leaves you wondering what's going to happen next. And, uh, you know, it's just well-written. The characters I found were well-written, especially Zod. You know, this, this guy was, like, a really well, is like, a really cool villain. Um... Anyway, uh, I give it a score, full five out of five. You know, there wasn't any plot holes or anything that I could see. It was just very enjoyable, very well written, and I would highly recommend it. Anyway, anyway uh, uh, till next time, uh, read a book.